Google DeepMind is probably heading for a Nobel Prize and I'm not even exaggerating. Their latest model Alpha Fold 3 has managed to predict the structure and interactions of all life molecules and that is exactly what their claim is. If you are not familiar with any of these things, I would like to give you a very quick primer before we jump into Alpha Fold 3. So Google DeepMind, DeepMind is this company that was started by Demis Hassabis and a bunch of other people and Google managed to acquire it and until now it was a separate entity within Google but somehow Google decided that okay we want to merge Google Brain with DeepMind. So Demis Hassabis is technically the CEO of Google DeepMind or Google Brain whatever that you would like to call. Now the most interesting thing is everybody is behind AGI and uh, for that people are developing text based models that can predict the next word and we know for sure that that is not going to be AGI because people like Jan Likun, one of the most respected researchers and are also the head of AI, Meta AI has always said that it's not just the next word prediction but you also need search and planning within the AI system that you build for it to have something beyond what it sees. But Google if you see they are focused on one particular mission at least this particular team they are always trying something with biology and this is one great example how they are focused on this particular mission and um, yeah it's 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 fascinating to see so what is this uh, alpha fold 3 is the third version of alpha fold now if you do not know what is alpha fold alpha fold is the system where it can predict a 3d protein structure what does it mean so if you see that protein structure, so protein takes different structures very quickly and I think that is called protein folding. So if you are somebody who has more knowledge than me in this, please comment in this video explaining whatever crap that I'm talking about, please, please. And I'm explaining whatever I learned. It could be, there could be a mistake, but I want to make sure that I explain you the most right way to the best of my knowledge. So if you see here, you can see that protein actually folds and then it attains a structure and that structure is a 3d structure and uh, that structure humans have to predict that structure and uh, that structure humans uh, do not have easy understanding about and like for many years humans are trying to predict this particular thing and they're not able to do it and there are like competitions for it like the CASP 13 14 15 these are the competitions where people try to predict this protein structure the protein folding what Deep Minds Alpha Fold has managed to do is it is it learned how to predict the protein structure. Now you might be wondering how did they do it? They used deep learning techniques. So it is some sort of an attention based technique. I'm not sure if it is entirely transformer based system like all the other large language that models that we have got. So they've used some kind of deep learning there. Now how did they manage to do it? They needed training data and that training data is actually available because people had figured out that um, you have 170,000 proteins over the last six years while there are 200 million known proteins and for this 170,000 proteins we have the data how the folding happens. So deep mind took this data put this into their system and their system learned it and the latest version of this system alpha fold 3 has got one of the highest accuracies that they have got they have not participated in the latest CASP the competition whatever it is. But they are claiming that this is one of the highest accuracies and not just uh, the protein, it can also do DNA, RNA, ligands and more. So that's why they call it all of life's molecules, not just protein. Like until alpha fold 2, it was just proteins. But alpha fold 3 is much more beyond that. And you can see some examples here, like how it actually can predict. And this is like they're saying this is 7PNM. This is a spike of spike protein of common cold virus coronavirus OC43 and uh, having understanding about these kind of protein predictions could uh, help us in developing a drug faster, understanding the disease, developing vaccines and that's that's what they're saying like I'm not an expert in this. The most exciting thing of this announcement is it's not just a paper. Google DeepMind has managed to put this entire thing into a production ready system and that system, the Alpha Fold server, is available for free and easy to use for non-commercial purpose. Of course, I mean, it's Google <laughs> doesn't want you to take and do something. Uh, but for non-commercial purpose, Google is letting anybody in this world, like even if you are like me, nobody, like a consumer, you can go to this particular system and you can start using Alpha Fold today. So Alpha Fold 3 is available for anybody to use it. All you have to do is log in with your Google account 
once you log in with your Google account, you can go here and click the server. And if you if you are familiar with the subject, you know what to add here, like what kind of molecule that you want to predict, like a protein, DNA, RNA, ligand, IN. Or if you do not know any of these things, if you're like me just to play here, you can select one of these examples that they have given. This is the molecule type, the number of copies, this is some kind of like the sequence or token. And then you can just click continue and uh, conf confirm and submit the job. And it is going to submit the job and it is going to do it. And you get like, I think 10 jobs. I don't know what happens after that, but you can see that the jobs can be up to 5,000 tokens. And there are a lot of other things. I think this is a massive achievement in the research world, especially that I think I've multiple times mentioned that I would love to see AI helping us in advancing the research in a lot of different things that people are not doing now. And I think this is a direction, uh, a good direction in that. And uh, I would strongly always appreciate Google for trying this Google DeepMind, especially I'm not sure if this is Sundar Pichai's Google, um, but at least Demis Hasabe's Google is trying that and probably uh, their aim is to get Nobel Prize and uh, they have tied up with a lab called isomorphic labs uh, with whom they are actually developing these things. And Google already has got uh, one of the, you know, leading prizes called breakthrough prize in life sciences. But uh, probably if this is going to make everybody's life better, like better drugs, better vaccines, or uh, maybe like uh, easily identified diseases, I don't know what kind of implications it might have. I think this is going to, this is going to take us into a completely different direction than what the current AI can be doing. And that is exactly why I wanted to make this video introduce alpha fold three and also alpha fold server to you so that um, yeah, you you can probably play with this. So you can see that my job has been submitted. This is this is my 3d model. I don't know what does it but it looks super cool. It looks it's it's always cool to see a 3d chart where you can uh, play with all the three axes x, y, z and uh, you can see there is a bunch of details here. It says what is it and what kind of protein molecule it is and um, you've got RNA protein put protein and uh, that's it. Uh, that's the video. See you in another video. Happy prompting.